Hi, Daniel from the Prisma team here. In this video, I'm going to discuss some of the changes in version 2.17.0 of Prisma, and specifically, what changes for the default mapping of float in Prisma. So follow along if you've been using the float type and you're seeking to upgrade to version 2.17.0. Version 2.17.0 of Prisma brings two major changes that affect how you use types in your Prisma schema and how they relate to the underlying database schema. The first major change is the general availability of native types. Native types are a new feature that allow you to define the exact database type for every field in your Prisma schema. This allows you to have fine control over the underlying types that you use in your database schema. The second major change is the remapping of the type float in the Prisma schema. Previously, the type float would map to the underlying database type decimal for MySQL and Postgres. However, with version 2.17, this changes. From now on, this type will be mapped to the double type in the database. And this has a bunch of implications if you've already been using Prisma Migrate and the float type. So let's take a look at what this means. In this example, I'm using version 2.16.1. On the left hand side, I have the Prisma schema, which has a post model and a reward field of type float. On the right hand side, I have a migration that was created with Prisma Migrate for this schema. As you can see, the reward field or column has the decimal type. Before I upgrade Prisma, I'm going to first check that the migrations are in sync with the database schema. And to do that, I'm going to use the migrate status command. As we can see, one migration, which I showed you the SQL file, is in sync and the database schema is up to date. Now I will go ahead and install the new version of Prisma. I've already updated the package JSON, so I just need to run npm install and Prisma is now being successfully upgraded. After the remapping of the flow type from decimal to double, Migrate will try to change the type in the database schema. When I run the Prisma Migrate dev command, which is responsible for generating migrations based on your Prisma schema. As we can see, because of this remapping, Migrate tries to change the type of the reward column from decimal to double precision. If you're happy continuing to use the decimal type in your database, all you need to do is you need to change the float types in your Prisma schema to decimal. So we'll go ahead and cancel this migration here. And I will update this float to use decimal. If I do that and I run migrate dev again, we shouldn't expect any changes to the database schema. And indeed, everything is fine. Another way to approach this, if you have a lot of fields and you don't want to manually change them, you can also use introspection. If I go back and change this back to float, and then I go and I run prisma introspect, it will automatically handle the remapping. And as we can see, the reward field changed from type float to decimal. This leads us to another important change in version 2.17. Previously, when you queried float fields, the return type for those fields would be a number in the Node.js runtime. From this version, Prisma client will return a decimal JS object for fields that have the decimal type. And this affects existing code, which may use number operators to perform mathematical operations on returned values, like in the example that I have here on the right hand side. Because the return type of the reward field has changed from number to a decimal JS object, the current operation that I have on the right hand side will no longer work. In order to make this work, we need to change this to use the operations that are exposed to us by the decimal JS object. And so running this now will fail with a type error. And as we can see, this is because the operator plus cannot be applied to a number in a decimal together. And so let's refactor this code in order to use the decimal JS operators. And I've already created this here. And what we're doing is we're doing a reduce array operation and we're using the plus method in order to add up the numbers. 
Second change is changing the initial value from the number zero to a decimal JS object representing zero. Now we should be able to run this script. And indeed, it seems that we got the correct result, which is 61, which is the addition basically of 30.5 for the two posts. It should be noted that prisma.decimal is an alias to the decimal.js library that is included in Prisma client. To learn more about how to perform mathematical operations with decimal.js, be sure to check out the decimal.js docs. Now let's take a step back to understand why this change happened. Until version 2.17, the float type in your Prisma schema would be mapped to the decimal type in Postgres and MySQL. Also note that in Postgres, there's no difference between decimal and numerical, and they can be used interchangeably. In JavaScript and TypeScript, all numbers are floating point numbers. And due to the binary nature of floating point encoding, some decimal numbers cannot be represented with perfect accuracy. So by using decimal.js for database columns that use the decimal type, we eliminate a whole class of rounding errors that floating points are prone to. It's also worth mentioning that there's a trade-off between using decimal and double on the database level. The decimal type takes up more space and is slower to run operations on, but has the benefit of higher accuracy, while double is smaller and also less precise. Let's recap what we covered in this video. In the first step, I discussed some of the changes to the default mapping of float in Prisma. I then went on to update the Prisma schema in order to avoid migrate from altering decimal columns to double in the database schema. And there were two ways to approach that. The first one was to manually change float to decimal in the Prisma schema. And the second option was using introspect in order to automatically update the Prisma schema based on the new mapping. Finally, I covered how to update the application code to use decimal JS because while the database type hasn't changed and we kept it as a decimal type, the return type of Prisma client has changed from being a number to a decimal JS object, which affects how we interact with those returned values. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, ask a question in our public Slack or start a discussion on GitHub. Finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube so that you can get notified when we release new videos. Thank you for watching.